morning church today is the letter N and N is for nature. So I'm out on the nature trails over behind the parking lot at church. If you're not familiar with them, I'll give you a little context here for where we are. There's the church over there. So we're behind, uh, kind of between the parking lot and the crosses back uh, in the prairie in the woods back over here. We've got about a half a mile of different trails that kind of loop around. It's beautiful in the summer, but also really cool to come out here in the winter. So if you've never come out, I really recommend it. This past Sunday, our scripture that we read in church was Isaiah 55. And there's this beautiful analogy where it talks about water and snow coming down from the heavens, from the sky, watering the earth, nourishing the plant life, helping it grow, and then going back up to the sky again. And it says that God's word is like that, that the word of God comes from God down to the earth, nourishes the earth and our life here, and then goes back to God having fulfilled its purpose. There's another part of the same scripture, just a couple verses later, that has this beautiful imagery, the mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. One of the commentaries that I read in preparing uh, to preach on this scripture for Sunday said that there are so many places in the Bible where it talks about God and nature that it's kind of like you can't talk about God without talking about nature and you can't talk about nature without talking about God. That the two go hand in hand both for the ancient people and for us today. So if you've never been out on these nature trails, I really recommend it. Walk the trails. Think about God as you do. And also look out for the family of deer that we have living up here somewhere around here right next to the church. There's a whole family of like six or seven deer that go through all the time. And I tried to come out here at different days, different times of days to get them on film. And you know, I see them all the time when I'm not looking for them. And then I went looking for them and couldn't find them. Uh, but take my word for it, look out for the deer. And uh, as you do, notice all the ways that the nature around us praises God too. Thanks for joining us again today. I will see you tomorrow for the letter O.